So when we talk about metabolism or preventing obesity or even enhancing fat loss, uh, we oftentimes look at, look at it through the lens of diet only. And even in this quantum health space, we talk a lot about blocking artificial light at night. And yes, both of those can be definitely, definitely be contributing factors to either preventing diabetes, metabolic syndrome, and obesity, and or helping to reverse uh, the symptom progression that we would see in those conditions. So I do love to lay the foundation of light, uh, especially blocking artificial light at night to support metabolism. And yes, nutrition plays a role as well. However, something that I think is very fascinating, but really never brought up into this conversation, at least not very frequently, is the idea of sunlight on the skin and how it can contribute to supporting a, a healthy metabolism, um, including things like enhanced glucose tolerance, um, uh, improved insulin signaling. So there's a lot that I want to talk, uh, talk about here, and this is independent of vitamin D. So yes, I think when most people think about sunlight on the skin, they recognize that vitamin D gets produced when ultraviolet B light strikes the skin. So that's absolutely the case. Um, and that is definitely a big benefit of vitamin or of sunlight on the skin because we want to make vitamin D through the skin. Because when we make it through the skin, we make we we truly make vitamin D pre-vitamin D that can become essentially a host of vitamin D metabolites that we know are biologically supportive and healthy and beneficial for us. So that's the ideal way to make vitamin D. And so, yes, there's definitely metabolic um, support when we make uh, when we make vitamin D through the skin. However, there are supports via sunlight that go beyond the production of vitamin D that actually can really support a healthy metabolism. I'm not going to go into the nitty gritty details here, but I want to talk about things like ultraviolet A light. UVA light, remember that appears when the sun is 10 degrees above the horizon. UVA light on the skin can optimize leptin signaling to the brain. Leptin is a major hormone in the brain that's designed, it's released from fat cells and it's designed to dock in the brain and trigger a download essentially of how much energy stores we have in our body. So the leptin can help then regulate appetite and it can regulate things like uh, optimizing fertility. It can do things like optimizing inflammatory cascades. And so if the body knows what its energy status is, it knows how to proceed throughout the remainder of the day, throughout the remainder of the month for, for things like monthly hormone fluctuations and things like that. And so we want to be able to optimize leptin signaling into the brain so that download can take place uh, in the first place. And there are things involving sunlight on the skin get, that can do just that. So uh, ultraviolet A light on the skin causes leptin to activate a pathway in the brain called the leptin melanocortin pathway, and which, in, which produces a, a protein called POMC. POMC is this big protein that can get chopped up into smaller pieces and in response to certain signals. And when it gets chopped up into these smaller pieces, each piece that it gets chopped into can have a, a beneficial biological effect. And one of the ones that I find super fascinating is how this, this um, POMC can get cleaved into something called lipotropin. Lipotropin is a compound that we know can stimulate lipolysis or essentially enhance the body's ability to use fat and burn fat as a fuel source. We also know that this can get um, this big, this big uh, protein called POMC can get, get, can get cut into a compound called alpha MSH. Alpha MSH is going to regulate energy homeostasis. It's going to regulate our appetite. We know that this can get that that um, this POMC can get cut into different compounds that do things like regulate healthy blood sugar levels, and so simply from stimulating this pathway via ultraviolet A light on the skin, and also the signaling can get optimized through uh, through the eyes as well. We can actually enhance so many aspects of a healthy metabolism. Um, we know that um, simply by making sure we make we produce adequate amounts of alpha MSH we actually see a reduction in appetite, a lowering of food intake, while still raising energy expenditure, meaning we see uh, really interesting metabolic cha uh, changes that take place that aren't necessarily the same that we see associated with simply, simply doing something like caloric restriction. So sunlight plays a very regulating role in optimizing these pathways of metabolism that we never even talk about when it comes to um, think that topics such as fat loss or prevention of diabetes, metabolic syndrome, obesity. Another thing that was super fascinating is that um, 
ultraviolet radiation, again, independent of making vitamin D, was actually shown to um, either both reverse and support all of the things that we, all, a lot of the parameters that we look at when it comes to obesity and metabolic syndrome. So it improves glucose tolerance or glucose utilization. Um, so it, essentially it enhances insulin sensitivity as well. And from a circadian perspective, uh, we have to ask ourselves, okay, interesting. So UV light on my skin allows my body to better utilize glucose as a fuel source. Hmm, how does that tie in to kind of a circadian or circannual understanding of light and my environment? Well, it makes sense because when ultraviolet light gets stronger and stronger, that allows more and more fruits and vegetables, essentially fruits though, that are higher in glucose to grow in my local environment. So that means that in conjunction with being able to expose my skin to more intense wavelengths of light, and that these crops are gonna grow more and more glucose rich foods, I can help regulate that through light signaling on my skin. So we know that ultraviolet light signaling on the skin can suppress weight gain, glucose intolerance, insulin resistance. It can even prevent non-alcoholic fatty liver conditions simply because that ultraviolet, uh, ultraviolet light really helps our body appropriately utilize glucose. So it makes sense. I get the, I get the stronger ultraviolet light on my skin, it would be the same time that the those um, more glucose rich foods would be available to me, and it helps me just to regulate uh, the amount of glucose I'm consuming simply through light on my skin alone. And it's thought that a lot of these the the these effects beyond POMC are happening through nitric oxide signaling. Um, specifically, what's interesting is that we see decreased endothelial nitric oxide production in conditions of obesity. Um, and so what does that signal to me? Well, first and foremost, where, how do we produce endothelial nitric oxide? It, it gets produced when ultraviolet A light strikes the skin. Ultraviolet A light striking the skin causes my blood vessels to produce, to produce nitric oxide. That's, that's endothelial nitric oxide, right? Those blood vessels produce nitric oxide and that causes those blood vessels to widen, to dilate essentially. They break, they translocate themselves closer to the surface of the skin. I like to think of it as my blood vessels want to sun themselves to capture more of the wavelengths of light so that they can ferry that beautiful light all throughout my body. Um, but we, we know then that when we get this, um, this endothelial nitric oxide synthase produced, um, but when we can actually optimize its production, it has an anti-obesogenic effect. So there is so many aspects that are underutilized here when it comes to supporting a healthy metabolism. And while this is just a short video on this, I highly, I want to highly encourage you to understand that getting appropriate sunlight on the skin and building a solar tolerance to being out in that UV light that allows you to derive these benefits is health promoting. We have to stop fearing the sun and start understanding how to have a healthy relationship with it so that we can optimize things like glucose tolerance, insulin sensitivity, um, and just be anti-obesogenic because of those exposures. And so I hope this encourages you or maybe someone who might be a little hesitant to get out into that light to understand that we've got a very dynamic, important relationship with ultraviolet light, and we can take advantage of it for so many aspects of our health that I, that I commonly talk about, but especially in light of things like enhancing our metabolism preventing weight gain and supporting aspects of metabolic syndrome and preventing diabetes that are so prevalent these days in our society.